Hey everyone, my name is Meredith Chandler and I'm That Beauty Counter Girl. For those of you who have never heard of Beauty Counter, it's a mission-based company that strives to get safe products into the hands of everyone. They have a never list of 1,500 ingredients that they have thoroughly tested and found uh, in some way harmful to our body and they've promised to never use it. But the best thing about Beauty Counter is that not only are their products safe and completely clean, but they perform as well. The look that I'm gonna be showing you how to do is the one I'm wearing right now, and I'm calling it my Valentine's Day look, but really you can wear it whenever, because red lips are awesome all the time. Okay. Right, I'm first going to start with the tint skin in the color linen and I'm just going to dab uh, just dots all over my face. I prefer doing it this way as opposed to just putting it on the back of your hand because I feel like it's just easier to blend this way. Uh, and then I'm taking the contractable complexion brush which I really love and just thoroughly blending that all over my face. Make sure to get your neck as well so that you don't have that awkward line on your, on your jaw. Next I'm taking the matte translucent powder which I highly recommend using when you use a foundation because it really just sets it really well and it's really good for oily skin. And I like that it's translucent because it doesn't compete with the tint skin color so it gives you more of a natural look. So just blend that in again all over your face and down your neck. Then take the matte bronzer, I'm using the number one. And with an angled brush, just sweep it down, kind of making that O face, sweep it down the side of your cheek. And an easy way to think about contouring is just to make a three on your face. So blend up into the temples and forehead, and then down your cheek, and then under your jawline and neck. Really make sure to blend it all in together. Then I'm taking the blush called Tawny Whisper and using a powder brush, just smile and dab that onto the apples of your cheeks and then blend up and out. Next I'm taking the Eye Duo shade called Pearl and Champagne and I'm using the champagne color first which is the darker one and I'm just swiping this back and forth across into my crease just to warm it up a little bit and use this as my transitional color. Next I'm using the iDuo shade uh, Fawn and Night. So Fawn is the brown one so I'm using this first putting it in the outer corners and also throughout the crease using swiping back and forth motions and small circular motions to just blend it in. And the nice thing is this color is really buildable, so start with a little bit and then go from there. Just blend together really well and, and just keep adding until you have the color that you want. Next I'm taking the color Night from that same eye duo and blending this really well in small circular motions into my outer V, the corner of my eye. If you want a little bit more of a subtle look, then just kind of blend it and keep it in the, the outer corner. But if you want something a little bit more dramatic, then um, add a little bit more black and draw it more across your whole crease, making sure to uh, just blend really well together. And then I'm taking just a little bit more of the brown color just to blend everything together again because it's all about blending <laughs> alright back to the pearl and champagne color now I'm taking the pearl the lighter one and using this as a highlight color underneath my brows and then also taking it and dabbing it into the inner corners of my eyes and this really just brightens up your eyes really quickly And then once you do it in the inner corners as well, just take that color and just sweep it across your whole lid. And again, this just really brightens up the look and it gives a really nice contrast from the light to the dark on the outer corners. 
Next, I'm taking the brown eye pencil. Just pull your eye out a little bit and just create a straight line as close to the lash line as possible. And in small strokes, just move from the outer corner of your eye to the inner corner. Then use the smudger on the other side and just smoke out that line so that it's just not as defined looking and just blend it into the lash line a little bit more. And then just take a powder brush and sweep it under your eyes to clear away any fallout powder. I applied mascara off screen and to finish off the look we're going to use the color Plum as your lipstick color and then I added in just a little bit of the color Current to give it a little bit more of just a pinkish red berry look. And then you're done. Alright, hope you guys loved the look. Thanks so much for watching. Everybody says it, but I'm going to say it too. Subscribe to my channel! <laughs> that is so awkward. <laughs> hope you guys loved the look. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment and like the video below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and tell me what you want to see other videos of. And be sure to check out my Instagram and share this on Facebook and all that stuff, all the social media stuff. Tumblr? Do you share this on Tumblr? Flickr? Is that a thing? I don't know. Just share the video. How are you supposed to end these things? Bye!